purposeful pursuit of national interests, pragmatic issue-based alignments with countries, and proactive diplomatic outreach characterize and configure India's foreign policy. हमने वैश्विक प्रवाहों के बीच रहना है, वैश्विक प्रवाहों के साथ संतुलन बना करके रहना है, वैश्विक प्रवाहों के साथ कंधे से कंधा मिला करके चलना है. With an enhanced diplomatic outreach, shaping and stabilizing the geopolitical landscape, focused on diplomacy for development, offering a wide array of citizen-centric services, and promoting an increasingly powerful brand India. These five pillars following the exemplary India way. The India way now especially would be to be more of a decider or a shaper rather than an abstainer. I think the India way would be a country which brings its capacities to bear on the international system for global good. Last few years have seen a record number of high-level incoming and outgoing visits at the level of President, Vice President, Prime Minister, External Affairs Minister and other Ministers of the Government of India under the Brahad Samparka Yojana Outreach Initiative undertaken by Ministry of External Affairs covering more than 190 United Nations countries. Driven by the ethos of mutual empowerment, India has shared funds, technology and expertise with countries in Africa, Asia, Eastern Europe and Latin America. This development cooperation, channelized through lines of credit and grants, includes assistance in capacity building, training and enhanced cooperation in education and health. Building connectivity at strategic locations has been an important tool for diplomacy since long. The new India is working proactively to connect with the world. The Chabahar port in Iran is now operational, providing sea land connectivity with Afghanistan for trading between India, Iran and Afghanistan. There are ongoing projects with neighboring countries also focused on improving connectivity. There is the 1360 kilometers long India Myanmar Thailand Trilateral Highway connecting Moray in Manipur to Mysore in Thailand which is set to change the face of the northeast region. Understanding the need to foster global linkages for attaining national development in India, the Ministry of External Affairs is playing a proactive role in facilitating people-centric domestic programs of national development in the country, thus engaging in diplomacy for development. Diplomatic efforts have enabled India to procure uninterrupted and affordable flow of oil and natural gas from major Gulf countries. These diplomatic efforts for energy security are on nuclear energy, hydrocarbons, and renewable energy. Through diplomatic engagements with like-minded countries, India took the first step to spearhead the International Solar Alliance that will provide clean energy to millions of Indians by expediting solar energy production. <laughs> सौरव पैनल्स जो हमने लाइट्स के रूप में लगाए हैं, उनसे शाम से लेकर सुबह तक पूरा गांव लाइट्स से जगमगाया रहता है, हमें कहीं कोई दिक्कत नहीं आती है। One more project with the ministry engaging proactively in diplomacy for development is the Namami Gange program, which was launched to rejuvenate the living heritage, the river of life, the sacred Ganga. I think that Namami Ganga has been a better yojana praram. The ministry has at the forefront of securing foreign collaboration and technical expertise for the Namami Ganga project. 
ये सबसे बड़ी बात तो है वो है बाहर के देश जो वो भी अपने बन गए वी आर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ओपन कंट्रीज फॉर फॉरेन डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट टूडे मोर देन 90 परसेंट ऑफ अवर सेक्टर्स आर नाउ ऑन ऑटोमेटिक रूट फॉर अप्रूवल एंड द कॉन्फिडेंस इन इंडिया वी हैव रिसीव एफ डी आई वर्थ ओवर टू फिफ्टी बिलियन डॉलर ओवर द फास्ट फोर ईयर्स What is giving a fillip to this increase in FDI is the government of India's largest manufacturing initiative Make in India. The focus of the government in Make in India helps greatly in developing not only processes but also people and talents in the country which is in my opinion the main enabler for growing an economy. Leading companies from around the world are now eyeing India to set up a manufacturing base for their products. The Make in India initiative has also ignited a startup culture in India. Today, India is sourcing capital and technology for startups through collaborative ventures with other countries, all of which has been made possible with Ministry of External Affairs mantra. of diplomacy for development in terms of how uh, you know the whole startup ecosystem in india is growing that's also benefiting because both talent and the ecosystem is uh, is more acceptable to to new age fast growing tech based companies in india Another initiative supported by the ministry's vision of diplomacy for development is Skill India. An ambitious mission of training 400 million Indians by 2022. Skill India is committed to empower the youth of the country, create a dynamic skilled workforce and transform India into the world's human resource capital. Bahut hi acha program hai ye jitne bhi जो मिडिल क्लास लोग होते हैं जो सोचते हैं कि हम कोई महंगे कोर्स नहीं कर सकते ये उन लोगों के लिए काफी अच्छा प्रोग्राम है डेवलपमेंट फोकस डिप्लोमेसी इज ऑफ्टन सीन इन द इंटरवीविंग ऑफ फ्लैगशिप स्कीम्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट वन मोर सच प्रोग्राम इज स्मार्ट सिटीज व्हिच एम्स एट एनहांसिंग द क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ इट्स सिटीजंस थ्रू द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ स्मार्ट सॉल्यूशंस Several countries have shown a keen interest in helping India realize its ambitious dream of developing 100 smart cities. The ministry has led the way by forging digital partnerships with other countries to strengthen digital empowerment in the country. Through an investment of more than $300,000 coming from top CEOs and support given by leading companies like Google, Microsoft, Qualcomm and Facebook efforts are getting channelized for upgrading the country's overall digital infrastructure ranging from awareness campaigns like pre departure orientation training and portals like e sanad madad e migrate to help people migrate easily along with services in centers like pravasi bharatiya sahayata kendra and the indian community welfare fund as well as the expedited passport services the foreign policy is focused on helping indians living in the country and abroad portals like madad run by the ministry are significantly changing the lives of indian citizens abroad who need to or want to file their consular grievances with the indian government and linked to madad is the fully automated system of e-migrate which has made the process of immigration simpler and transparent on the other hand one such single point window of service for indian living anywhere in the world are the pravasi bharatiya sahayata kendras cells with a team of experts working on legal financial and social issues along with assistance in distress Offices of Protector of Immigrants in India also provides financial assistance and run an insurance scheme providing compulsory coverage to Indians working in ECR countries 
especially the Gulf region. And with the launch of the Ministry's Passport Saver project, an era of passport revolution has been sweeping the nation. It is very hassle-free, it is quick, and uh, everyone over here is very friendly and it's comfortable now. It was about 2 months for the passport, but now it's so systematic that your passport will come in 2-3 minimum. Today, 37 passport offices, 93 passport seva kendras and 424 post office passport seva kendras across the nation and 196 Indian missions and posts abroad are working together to bring passports to every doorstep of the countrymen. Home to all major religions and diverse cultures, the idea of India as a vibrant pluralistic society has struck a chord, making the world more amenable to India's aspirations. The India way would be really brand India, you know. Brand India in terms of what is unique to us as a power. Uh, the fact that uh, we have this uh, extraordinary diaspora uh, which, which connects us in a way in which it does to very few powers. The fact that today we would be increasingly a pool of global talent. That uh, our heritage, our traditions, you know, what you've seen happen with yoga or what you see now happening with uh, Indian traditional medicine and also more modern way, I would say, shaping the discourse. In building a new India, the 31 million strong Indian diaspora is going to play a critical role. By remitting more than $80 billion, this soft power and its contribution and cooperation will help fulfill the dreams and aspirations of all Indians. हमारे प्रयास 130 करोड़ भारतीयों को केंद्र में रखकर हो रहे हैं लेकिन ये प्रयास जिन सपनों के लिए हो रहे हैं वो सारे विश्व के हैं हर देश के हैं हर समाज के हैं प्रयास हमारे हैं परिणाम सभी के लिए सारे संसार के लिए है